but they didn't know that. So they're waiting for the Messiah to come. When he comes back, this is precisely what he's going to do. The prophet said, that he's going to go to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, he would be Hakim Adil, a ruler, ruling the world from Jerusalem with justice. And that would be a rule which would be eternal. And that would therefore be the end of history in the sense that there is nothing to come after that, to replace it. And so they are back, they are there in Jerusalem and they are waiting for the Messiah to come. Because this could not have been the Messiah, he's dead. The Quran now takes up the story from here. And what follows now, the second part of this lecture, is the more important part for you. Because in this second part of the lecture, you are getting an Islamic view of the destiny of Jerusalem that even the Security Council of the UN doesn't know about. <laughs> First of all, Allah expels them from the Holy Land. The first time was the Babylonian army. Worshipping the sun and the moon and the stars. This time it's the Roman army, worshipping a goddess named Venus, and a god named Zeus, and a god named Mars. Hmm? They are expelled from the Holy Land, but this expulsion differs from the previous one. This time Allah says in Surah Tul A'raf, وَقَطَّعْنَاهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أُمَمْ We broke them up into bits and pieces and scattered them everywhere. And so Jews in Argentina and Jews in China and Jews in, in Egypt and Jews in, in Russia and the Jews in Yemen and Jews in Iraq and Jews in Iran and Jews in Morocco. This is divine punishment. But the rabbi says this was the divine wisdom, so that the truth could reach all of mankind. We broke them up into bits and pieces and scattered them everywhere. The second thing that Allah says is that He is a God of mercy and compassion. And so even though they committed this vilest of all deeds in attempting to crucify the Messenger of Allah. And even though they had killed Zakaria alayhi salam in the masjid itself. And even though Yahya alayhi salam was beheaded, the killing of the prophets, yet he says, Asa Rabbukum ayyarhamakum. It is still possible that your Lord can forgive you. It is still possible that your Lord can have mercy on you. There is only one door to mercy. What is it? At the end of Surah Al-Araf, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us of the door to mercy for Banu Israel. He says, those who follow the messenger, who will be al-ummi, Nabi al-ummi, meaning the prophet who could not read and write, and also meaning the prophet who is not a Jew, he is a Gentile. Those who follow that prophet, whom they will find mentioned in the Torah as well as in the Gospel. And therefore, the Quran is speaking to a Banu Israel after they had attempted to crucify Isa alayhi salam. Those who follow that Prophet who they will find mentioned in the Torah as well as in the Injil, the Gospel. Who will 
commandment what is just and who will forbid them what is evil who will allow them as lawful as halal what is good and pure and who will prohibit them as haram that which is impure who will release them from the heavy yokes and burdens which were upon them it is those who believe in that prophet namely the prophet Muhammad it is those who believe in him فَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِهِ وَعَذَّرُوهُ and who honor him وَنَصَرُوهُ and who help him وَجَبَعُ النُّورَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ مَعَهُ and who follow the light which came down with him namely the Quran أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ these are the ones who will prosper. These are the ones who will earn Allah's mercy. And so the door to mercy is Muhammad And so when the hijra took place and that prophet has now arrived in Medina and the cream of Jewish scholarship is in Medina. And Rabbi, what are you doing in Medina? An Arabian city. The Rabbi would reply and say, well, our prophets told us that that prophet who is going to be coming will come to this city. That is why we are here. So when the Prophet Muhammad arrived in Medina after the Hijra, the window of opportunity is now open for Banu Israel. If they accept him as the Prophet of Allah, Allah will forgive them. He makes it easy for them to accept him. He makes it easy for them to recognize that the same God who sent Moses alayhi salam is the same God who has now sent Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. He's made it easy for them because he performs his prayer in the direction of their Qibla. He turns towards Jerusalem, not Mecca, for prayer. That was difficult for an Arab. Secondly, he fasts with them on the days when they fasted and in accordance with their law of fasting. You know what is their law of fasting? You begin the fast at sunset and you fast all through the night and all through the next day. No food, no water and you couldn't go to your wives during the night. Now it's real difficult for the Arabs. <laughs> real difficult. So he fasted with them on the days when they fasted and in accordance with their law of fasting to make it easy for them to recognize that the same God who has sent down the Torah is the same God who is now sending down the Quran. But after 17 months in Medina, it has now become plain as daylight that they have rejected Muhammad the Arab, as the Prophet of Allah. And they have rejected the Quran as divine revelation. It has become plain as daylight that they are now openly conspiring to destroy Islam. This is there in the books of Sirah. This is not fiction, this is history. But then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did something. Tremendous <coughs> in history. He changed the Qibla. Turn away from Jerusalem. Turn now to Makkah. So the door is closed. You had your chance. You blew it. Turn now to Mecca. The window of opportunity is closed. And he declared, Tilka ummatun al-Khalat. That religious community is now history. Dismissed. And he declared of this one, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas. You are the best which we have raised for the benefit of mankind, provided that Muruna bin Maruf will join what is just and what is right. 
regardless of the price you have to pay. And you struggle against that which is false and unjust, regardless of the price you have to pay. If you do that, you are the best to have been raised for the benefit of mankind. And so now the door is closed. 